welcome to Pokemos video tutorial number two, adding a customer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an account or customer to Pokemos. You can do that by hitting this add customer button. This add customer button is present no matter where you go in the system for easy access. You see it's split up into four parts. I'm going to go ahead and fill out different parts. The state is defaulted to the state in which your branch currently is for easy usability. Okay. An email is not required to set up an account, but um, if you put an email in, Pokemos will automatically create a username and a password for this account so they can log in through a customer login online. Uh, their username will be their email and their zip, uh, zip code, their billing zip code will be their password. And so they can go online and see their bill, see their next service, and, and pay their bill. Step two is all about the details of the contract. Whether it's a long-term agreement or a one-time service or inspection, you can set it up here. You'll notice there's contract type, service type, and service frequency. All three of these can be customized to your specific office and, and, and what you uh, offer. See contract type, there's a lot of different things in here. If I do, um, you know, like a one-time service, the details change based on what you set up in the settings. We're going to go with just a 12-month standard agreement. I can do like a residential, commercial, anything that I offer. And we're going to do quarterly. Okay, the normal initial, which is the, f the price of the first service, is going to be... Sixty dollars. Um, I'll give a ten dollar discount on this one. You can see the initial price is then fifty. Uh, the recurring price is uh, ninety dollars every three months. Okay, and then here's my scheduler. I schedule when the first service takes place. I can do it um, on Monday, and I can select which technician. Let's do it under tech guy, and here's all his open slots for the day. You can see he doesn't have anything available past 1.30 because they're all taken by other appointments. And so we're going to select 9 o'clock. Okay? The default of Pokemo scheduling is to schedule every recurring service on the same day as the initial service. So this is scheduled for the 30th. My, uh, my next service would be scheduled on the 30th, three months from the initial date. And then three months on the 30th, and then so on and so forth. If I select here, I can choose to have Pokemo schedule on the same day of the week and uh, the same day and a specific time if I want. Okay, You can see I can do the second Tuesday of every month um, at 10 a.m. Okay, These checkboxes are quick notes. Um, they can be customized. You can have as many or as little as you like, and they can say whatever you want. Okay. There's a gate code. Okay. Well, as soon as we're done here, we're going to go on. This is the um, billing service. You can see there's a billing address. You can change that to reflect something else, and input a credit card. Uh, you can put in a credit card um, and just charge it manually in each service, but Pokemos comes with an auto pay system, meaning if you check auto pay and you have a valid credit card on file, as soon as the service is complete, Pokemos will charge the card automatically for you. All you do is just look at the report. You can also choose who sold it, whether it's um, an actual salesman or just an office sale, and how you got that. Pokemos will actually measure the effectiveness of your different marketing types. You can see that in the report section. And you can customize your different marketing types to say whatever you like. Whether it's a Google ad or a PPC ad, an SEO organic, or flyers, or salesmen, or whatever you like. You can have as many as you want. And you can compare your different marketing types. And you can compare your marketing types to different areas of the city or uh, different parts of the state you service. Okay, we're going to go on. I'm going to click here to go 
my last uh, last page. And this page is kind of like the confirmation page. It gives a summary of what we've set up and a uh, estimated schedule. You can see it's every three months because it's set up quarterly. And this text box here are the terms of my agreement. Again, these are customized based on which type of contract you selected on step two. You can say I, I accept. This is required, this checkbox is, but this signature box is not required. If you have an iPad or an iPhone and you're setting up the customer in person, you can have them sign right here. If not, your technician can always capture a signature um, when he goes out before he starts his job, you know, if he has a, a mobile device. Okay. Here's a summary of their service address and billing address, and once all this is confirmed with the customer, we can finish. This customer is now created, all his services are scheduled, and he's on his way to be um, routed and geocoded through our, our uh, Google mapping system.